Okay, guys, here is my very large jewelry jar. <laughs> it's the big kahuna. I have jewelry jars. I can't even get it in the shot. But uh, it says it was $30, but I actually got it for $15 because it was half off. So as promised, I'm going to open my furry friend's third jewelry jar. I was waiting for the big one. I wanted to open that one last. All right, here we go. It wasn't even closed all the way because um, it's so large. I'm so excited. I can already see some goodies in there that I really, really can't wait. Let me see if I can. Gosh, it's so crazy. It's so big. Oh, just let it pop out. Let's take some out. Oh my god. Ooh. Let's take a couple out and see what we have. We do a little bit at a time. Oh my god. Keep blowing out. This is crazy, right? That they <laughs> have jewelry jars. Okay. Let's see what we got. First things first, we have a glass ring. Let's see, I'm a size five on my ring finger. Oop, oh my gosh. It's probably like a four and a half. It's a very interesting piece. It almost looks hand blown. It almost looks like a project piece. I don't know. That is very interesting. Look at the detail. Okay, awesome. I don't know if it's a Murano glass piece, you know. Oh, this is like a kid's plastic bracelet, but it, it's fun. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, no, I can't. I'm not even going to try. Can't get it around my wrist, but it's fun, you know, for kids. That's cool. All right, what else? Wow. <gasps> this is nice, guys. Cabochon stones. I don't know if they're real stones. Wow, look at this bracelet in perfect condition. That is incredible. Let me see if there's any marking in it. No, I can't see any, but wow. That is a spectacular piece. Very, very beautiful. Definitely, oh wow. Wow, very classy. It reminds me of Key West, Florida but very posh at the same time, you know, like going out for dinner. I love that. Okay, next up. Oh, beautiful beads. Long necklace. Long. Don't want to show you guys the reveal, <laughs> reveal those yet. Wow, these are really pretty. Very pretty. They're, they feel like plastic, but they also feel luxurious too. There's a clasp. Okay. Nice. Cool. Next. Oh, whoa, 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 guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like Cleopatra, Cleopatra. Cleopatra came to life. Came back to life and brought us this necklace. Hold on. This is a necklace that's stuck on it. Oh man, how am I gonna get that out? Let's see. Let's see if we can get that out. Yeah, we can. That's a really pretty necklace too. Let's look at that one first. This is obviously a sterling silver. I think it's a thin, very beautiful with a, let me see if this is sterling. I believe it says sterling silver inside the shoe. And it's kind of like a really pretty pinkish red shoe. Wow, that's really very classy. Very nice. I like it. Cool. Definitely a keeper. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, let me, let me show you guys the jewelry this way, because I think you could see it this way. 
What a beautiful piece. Oh, I think if you flip it, you get gems. You get these rhinestones. <gasps> Is there anything wrong with it? Let's see. Start. Oh, please don't be anything wrong with it. No, not at all. What a beautiful piece, you guys. Gorgeous. Lobster claw clasp. Look at the detail. Box chain. Oh, I love this. Look at the greens and the peaches and the, what are these real? They might be real stones. Gorgeous. Uh, let me see if there's anything written on it. it. Tells me what it is. No, but I can do some research about that. That's a really nice piece. Okay, next. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look at this one. Lots going on in here. Let me see what that is. Oh, I thought that was like sand dollar kind of design, but it's not in between here. See, I thought those were sand dollar designs, but they're not. Look at this. Nice thick metal with pewter and a shell, a colored shell, blue, very vibrant. Oh, I like this very minimal chip here. Minimal. It looks like it's part of the design. Look at this. Guys, with the, oh, there's hair on it. Green, green chain, painted chain. Huge lobster clasp. This is definitely, oh, here's a little broken over here, but not significant enough for me to not wear it or sell it for a good price. Okay, what else? This is very interesting. <laughs> Hmm. This is epoxy. Resin. Uh, I don't know if I should like this or not. I think I do. It's like sea foam. And these are like little gray stones. They're almost green. Nice. Long necklace. Very pretty. This is like copper. Hmm. I like it. Very pretty. Okay. Next, we have oh, lots of long necklaces. Wow, look at this one. Let's see if I can make this larger so you can see the whole thing. Wow. Let's see, what do I like about this? I like this reddish gold wood. I don't know if it's wood. No, it feels like it. Metal, this is all metal, made to look distressed. You guys, this is a very beautiful, <laughs> very, very pretty necklace. Oh, I love it. Even if it's worn here, it feels like it adds charm. Oh my gosh, look at this choker. Very, very, very pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Is there anything wrong with it? Let's see. Um, other than I probably would, I don't really have a very small neck, but look at this. Look at the pure detail. Nothing is wrong with this necklace whatsoever. Beautiful beaded. The, you know, gray blues, subtle satin finished golds in there and the soft velvety backing so it doesn't irritate very cool i like it okay hmm. what is this okay this is interesting this is actually very cool i don't know if this is sterling silver because it feels like it i don't know Hmm. Let's see. What does it say? Leah Sophia. Oh, I know that brand. Leah Sophia. Don't know if it's silver, but it's certainly pretty. Probably. Probably. Probably is. Oh, here's just a plain oh bangle. It's nice though. It has a very nice subtle uh, pattern on it. 
like it's silver fashion. Not real silver. Cool. Okay, so now we have this children's little plastic bracelet. It says Folland Grove made in Taiwan. Sometimes you're gonna open jewelry jars and you're gonna find these kind of things in, but hey, you know what, it's fun. It's kind of funny. I think I would actually wear it. Let's see if I can, I, I'm kind of on the bigger side. I'm kind of heavy, heavier set, but for some reason my, my wrists are not heavy. Okay, well, it's kind of tight, so we'll do it. <laughs> oh, you know what, let's just skip it. <laughs> How did these Mardi Gras beads get in here? They always find their way in the jewelry jars somehow. They're kind of fun. Yeah, all right. Oh, look at this. None of the rhinestones are missing. You guys, this is really beautiful. Stretchy. Looks like it was probably really pricey when the person first bought it. Very, very pretty. Let's see. <gasps> wow. Is that not classy or what? I like it. Like it. Really like it. Probably my favorite so far. Oh, and it's so comfortable. Jeez Louise. Wow, that's something. All right. I might have to put that on my little favorite pile here. <laughs> Favorites pile. What is it? Oh, is this a hairpin? You guys, let me know. I think this is a hairpin, right? It's pretty. It's like a blown glass. Oh, it's a little bent from probably being in the jar. I'm going to leave it out of the jar because I, I don't want to ruin it. Wow, this hairpin is really beautiful. I wonder what brand that is. It looks kind of pricey, like a Bloomingdale's or a Neiman Marcus thing. Nice. Nice. All right, so, uh, oops, that's still in the jar. Oh, look at this ring. Hmm. Very pretty. <laughs> Stretchy. Yeah, it's a little cat. Yeah, Asian. It's an Asian piece. Nice. Pretty. I really like that kind of sage green with the cream on top, and the creamy, creamy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Let's see what it looks like when you put it on. <laughs> Ow, kind of pinches back here. I don't really like these kind of rings, but that's cool. It feels very plasticky, but there's a metal base. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, what are these? Look at this. They're buttons. Can you guys tell me what these are? Because I see them in all my jewelry jars, but I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're used for. Tell me what those are, but these are really pretty stars. They look like buttons, like they're supposed to be on jackets or something. They look like they clasp onto anything, which is actually really neat. Cool. All right. Um, look at this. Goodness, look, and nothing is even missing. <gasps> look at the clasp. This is very beautiful. These beads are really exemplary. Is that the right word? Sometimes I use words that I think is good to use because they sound good, but <laughs> they're not really the right words. Um, yeah, sorry. I promise I try. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a lot of these like sage colors in here that I, I love. You you guys this is really pretty i don't know this has got weights to it look how wow look how beautiful this piece is is that an onyx stone oh my goodness what do you even call that shape how would i even describe that when i put it up look at these giant links Really strong lobster claw. This is a beautiful piece. I don't care what they say. This is a gorgeous piece. Yeah, I like it. Okay. I can't believe they all lasted so good in a huge jar like that. Oh, Is that a little turquoise turtle? 
don't know if it's real turquoise. I didn't get my gem tester or my metal tester yet in, from Amazon. So I'm still waiting for that. So I'm out of jewelry jar, so I'm gonna have to track some more down. <laughs> track some more down. See if we can get a closer shot of this thing. You see that? Okay. Next, and this has a nice lobster claw to it. It looks like a pearl. Oh, maybe it's something that they got in like Hawaii or something, one of those pearl places. You know, what is that one store called? Hanoi? I, I don't know. But there's Hanokai. I forget. There's always a place that sells like mother of pearl um, when you go to Hawaii. Okay, so Hope. Oh, this is nice. I mean, it's just cool. It's like, oh, am I going to break it? No. It's like stretchy like a, you know, hairband. That's just cool. It's a little too big for my wrist, but I mean, I guess I would wear it, but I would like it a little tighter. Still cool. The word hope. We all need a little bit of that every day. Okay. Hmm. <gasps> what is this? Like a red onyx? This is definitely stones. Oh, you know, it kind of feels plastic, but who cares? This is really nice. Wow, look at this. Fashion jewelry. Definitely beautiful beads. I like that. I love the lipstick red. You know, they had that brick red that women used to wear quite a bit in the um, 80s and 90s. My mom. I'm thinking about my mom. She, she did. This is very pretty. Wow. Like it. Love it, actually. <gasps> Look at these earrings. <laughs> Look at these earrings. How can I show you these? Maybe I can put it in one of these bowls from my Japanese Lazy Susan that I'm trying to sell. <laughs> Look. Isn't that pretty? Does that help? What if I turn it over? Let's see. Put it on like this. Those are really pretty. Probably hand painted. Earrings. Love it. Hmm. Very beautiful. All right, let me put my <laughs> plate back down. Okay. Hmm. See. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so beautiful for like a bridesmaid. Let me see. Oh. Let's see if I can figure this loop out. Oh, yeah. Just have to kind of adjust it here. Here. Yeah. <gasps> this is beautiful. Look at those satiny, like the gold and the dark gray flower. I don't know if you could see anything when I do it this close up, the detail. Isn't that beautiful? Let's see if we can find a name on that. No. Oh, I like that. Wow. Oh. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Wow, this has some weight to it. Look at that, guys. No, no problem whatsoever with the rhinestones. Isn't this crazy? Look, look at the detail. Oh, I love this kind of gray. This gray um, stone thing going on here. Look at this clasp. See if we could find out. Oh, it has a little rhinestone at the end of it. J Crew, it says. You guys, it says J Crew right there. I don't know. You can see it. This is a J Crew piece, piece and I, I do remember they have really gorgeous jewelry. Just gorgeous jewelry. I like it. Look at the back. It's always so strong. <gasps> you know, they make the front and the back just perfect. I do have some pieces that I have bought after Christmas sales at J Crew. 
cool that is definitely going up on my shop by the way you guys just to give you an idea of what i'm trying to do because i'm running out of space in my ebay shop um jolly flips i'm trying to create so right now i have a shop called jolly flips vintage but i'm trying to come up with a second account um which is a little tricky because you can't have two shops on ebay by the way i'm learning this you can't have two shops on ebay with one account you have to have another email so um i had called ebay and they told me that i just need another email so i want to have a jolly flips too and then call you know call it like jolly flips too but it's for jewelry and accessories so like belts and scarves and small bags no shoes or things like that but small accessories and yeah so i'm that's what i'm trying to do right now so if you see anything here that you like just shoot me an email i will put it in the description below and i will send you an invoice with paypal all i need is your i believe all i need is your email yeah that's it and i will send you over an invoice um or we can discuss what you can you know what you would like to buy via email and then work out some kind of price okay if, if you like any of these things oh here's another one of those bangles okay this this is very interesting <laughs> what in the world is this i really quite like it it looks like a project piece it's just a bunch of wires that are kind of cool look at this it just opens very easy and then oops let's see close it up oh my gosh i quite like it it's so whimsical Someone is super artsy. That's very cool. I wonder if that was, oops, messed the camera up. I wonder if that's like a project piece or someone actually sold that at a store once. Cool, wire bangle, like it. Wow, okay, let's see. There's another one of those suns. Okay. I have a big feeling this is going to be really beautiful. Oh boy, yes it is. Uh, I'm going to have to put 0.5 so you can see the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at the beautiful crosses. At first I thought it was like a rosary, right? Is that what you're getting? Rosary vibes? Oh, look at this cross. You guys. Oh, look at this one. I'm freaking out because it's so beautiful. I tend to freak out when I like something. Oh, they're all different style crosses. Can you see that one? And look at that, then you have hidden crosses. This is beautiful. This is nice, look at that heart. Nice strong heart. This must have been worth something crazy one time. Let's see how we're supposed to wear it. Do you know how to wear it? Because this clasp is attached to this. Oh, you know what? I think maybe perhaps it might be, is it broken? I don't particularly know. Hmm, let me see. Let me try to figure this out. Okay. I think it's supposed to go in here. What does that say? Love. Oh, wow. I think that this part is supposed to go in here. So I will need to get this repaired or sell it as is and see if somebody wants to repair it. But I think that goes in there like that. I have no idea what this is, to be honest. All I know is that it's pretty and I don't want to let it go. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll have to figure it out what that is or how to fix it oh wow wow this is a pretty bangle oh it kind of the clasp isn't very strong I'm a little concerned about that because this is really beautiful like i would wear this but somehow the opening needs to be see look how it just comes right out it needs to be enforced. Ooh. Uh, don't know. Pretty though. Okay. 
Let me know in the comments, guys, if I am moving the jewelry too fast or moving it too much that you don't have a chance to see it because I'm kind of an amateur at this, just starting off. Okay, guys, let's take more out of the star. Oh my gosh. Look at let's get it all out. Get it all out. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Oh, goodness. You know how I love my peaches and my pinks? This is something right out of 1960s or 70s or even 50s, I guess. Look. Yo, guys, that is a really cool bangle. <laughs> I really like it. Very nice. This is so far a really fun jewelry jar. Oh, I can't wait to get some more. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these things. Like This one is very pretty. I love the boho-ness of this. So bohemian. This is fabric. It reminds me of, I don't, I'm a really big fan of Elvis. Just so you guys know right off the bat, you need to know that about me. Big, big time Elvis fan. Uh, rest in peace, Lisa Marie. I loved her and I love her family. And so I will probably do a video of Graceland. I used to go very often with my mom and then when she passed, I kind of, eh, you know, memories. So the reason I, I mentioned Graceland was because there is a room, I kid you not, you have to look it up. Look up Elvis Presley's pool room. The pool room has these curtains. If you haven't been to Graceland, it's wild. I don't know how they dust it in there, but they're tightly, they're tight together. Almost looks like, it's very hard to explain. Just look up the pool room. So this kind of tightening of the fabric around this bangle just totally reminds me of that. But everything reminds me of Elvis, so I love him. Okay, oh wow. This is cool. This speaking of Lisa Marie, I'm getting Lisa Marie Presley vibes here. Like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh, it smells like someone put some perfume on there or on the wrist. I like, hmm, like almost like an Estee Lauder Pleasures or one of those. This is cool. Definitely it was worn. Let's see. This is in good condition. Let's see. This is also... All of these, and let's see, ah, uh, aha, uh -huh. missing a couple rhinestones, but this is so cool. Two different sizes. Let's see if it has a name on it. No, I don't know. Whoever had this really loved this a lot and wore it quite a bit. Wow, look at this anchor, marine-like bangle. Gosh, I really like this. So pretty. Yeah, my mom really liked bangles, so I have a whole set. Um, just I wouldn't put it up for sale, at least not now or ever. I just like to hold on to her things. Pretty bangle. Nice. Mm. Oh, remember in my last jewelry jar video, I had these wooden um, necklace. Reminds me of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Well, here is something similar. It says the Rafiki Foundation Inc. Widows Program. It says from Uganda to support impoverished African women in their effort to care for themselves and their families. Rafiki provides them a means of employment and artistic expression. Each product is handcrafted by African widows. You guys, that's really special. This is called confetti beads. Thank you for helping Africans know God. Oh, I just got like really emotional. This is really nice. Look how beautiful this is. It's floral. I wonder if you guys can really see this because this is incredible. It's so beautiful. I would be proud to wear that. Really awesome. Oh, here's another one from Rafiki Foundation. Oh, this is beautiful. This one is called, oh, confetti beads also. Oh my gosh. It's incredible workmanship. 
Wow, very impressed, very beautiful. The detail in those um, necklaces. Oh, this is a turquoise. I'm not sure if it's real turquoise, but it is a beautiful turquoise color. And here's a lobster, lobster clasp. Let me see if we can get you a little closer. Um, this is pretty. I always love when I see the stones like this because it kind of reminds me of like a wad of gum that you would find underneath a desk in high school. Underneath. Anyway, <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, that's kind of like a choker. I don't have such a small neck, so but that's cool. Oh my goodness gracious. Whoa, 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 wow. 1950s called. They want their giant green beads back. <laughs> this is incredible. This is beautiful. And it really screams 1950s. I'm getting Wilma Flintstone vibes. <laughs> Except I think she wears white beads. But very pretty. Oh, I love it. I could touch that all day. Love it. I love the sounds. Okay, what else? Oh my goodness, this is like the largest necklace in this whole jar. <laughs> Can you see this whole thing? Oh, wow. Sorry, parts of my stand for my camera is showing, but I mean, that's the only way I can get you to see the, uh, the whole necklace. Look at this, this is so beautiful. These beads are really good beads. I think this is all plastic, but very good plastic. Look at this. The colors of the peach and the orange and the you know, the reds and the, the kind of yellow. Cream colored, golds, cobalt blue. None of this is glass. This feels all plastic. What would be the size of this? Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, this is a two for one. You could wear it long like this or, oh, that's very cool. They've got this awesome lobster clasp here and you can wear it like this which I probably would choose to do that. Two different styles. I say you can use it as a belt, but you can't. It doesn't come apart here. This is a really splendid, superb necklace. Cool, like it. Go coming down to the wire here. What are these? What is this? I don't know. This could be used as a pendant. It's very beautiful. I love green. Let's see. Let's see, can you see it like that better? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It's cool though. I don't know. Let's see if it's real stones. It's hard to tell sometimes. They make things so well. I don't have time to look up if they're real or not, so I, I price them kind of low. I price my jewelry anywhere from, it depends on what it is, what style it is, all that. Anywhere from like $1, $3, $5, $10, $12, $15, up to probably $20. Um, unless I have diamonds or real gold um, or silver, you're not going to really see anything above $20. Okay, so here is a very, very unique wired... Um, turquoise cross, cross bangle. Oh, it's really pretty. See, my wrists are kind of too small for this, so. Love it. Okay, guys, look at what I have here. What is this? This feels like real stones. Wow, I thought they were at first just red plastic. Is it glass? No. It, because I thought it was plastic or glass because look how the colors are kind of faded. Yeah, I don't know. This is really special. Can somebody please tell me if you know, what is this stone? What is red and has a little white in there? Because I think this is special. I could be wrong. There is, oh, there's a little tag here. Oh, I can't read that. Hold on. Let me get my um, high magnification mirror here. I have that at least. Okay. Let's see. How exciting, right? All right. Oops. This is kind of new. So. 
Ooh. All right, let's see if we can see what that is. Sorry, give me a minute here. Oh, it says, oh, oh, oh. I'll tell you in a minute. Oop, I gotta get the light just right. It says Sogoli, Sogoli, S-O-G-L-I. If you guys know what that is, please let me know. That is really awesome. You know what, let me just, I'm gonna turn the camera off for one second, I'll look that up and I'll be right back. And I am back. So what I found out here, I'm gonna just go ahead and put some information up here for you on the split screen. Sogoli is an individual from Taryn. The stuff on the website is pretty pricey. I almost want to take a picture and contact them because I couldn't find this necklace there. But there is something special about this and I am gonna keep it aside and discover what kind of stone that is. But it says handmade in, in Los Angeles, in Los Angeles, so that's really beautiful. Anyway, oh, what is this? <laughs> oh, goodness. This is so beautiful. Oh, look at the clasp. You know, this, I, I would have to pick some stones that match it, which shouldn't be hard, and just, you know, kind of glue gun them on there. This is very, very pretty. Necklace. I'm not crafty, you know, but if anybody wants to pick this up and craft it yourself, <laughs> I can give it away for like $5. And you can, you know, because that's a pretty good, uh, I don't know if it's real turquoise, but it's pretty, um, pretty hefty, beautiful piece of jewelry. I have something like this at home, but it was pretty pricey and I got it from a bazaar somewhere. Um, okay, that's cool. All right, what is this? Long necklace. Ooh, what does that say? New York. And why? This is pretty. I really love the colors in this jewelry jar. Like the pinks, the gold tones, the creams, the sage greens, the turquoise, the reds, the smoky browns. You know, brown and gold work so well together. This is a long necklace. Pretty. Just put it around your neck. Oh, there is a clasp though. You know, if you want to adjust it. It just says NY on it. That's cool. Oh, these are Marjorie Bayer rack, $23.95. So I'm assuming, oh, these are clip-ons. Cool, you don't see those anymore. Um, these are really pretty. Marjorie Bayer made in the USA clip earrings. They have like never been used. A little wear on the metal. Cool. Oh, I like it. What's it say? I don't know what it says. This is special, guys. This is, uh, what is the name of this again? I wish I could speak to you guys live. <laughs> I'm just having uh, just a moment. I can't remember what the name, a cameo? Is that it? A cameo, yeah. This is, oh, there's that pink, the pinks, and this is a shell, shell um, woman. And, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a watch. Cool. Oh, there's something written here. I oh, can't see it. I need to take my handy dandy light out again. Let's see. Stainless steel. So what does it say above? Base metal. Doesn't say what it is though. Well, it, it's cool. Now, I don't know what this is on the tag, but that's a really nice pendant. I like it. I like cameos. Okay, wow. What is this? Does we have the other one? Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like I have either one of these. This is their only loan 
earrings. So oh, too bad because they really are kind of pretty. Both of them. I love this kind of citrine yellow stone. Look, I wonder if it is citrine. What, oh, what does it say? J. Crew. J. Crew. But you know what I do like about it? The hidden Mickey ears and head. <laughs> I'm an, I'm also a huge Disney fan, so I see Mickey everywhere. This is too bad. I don't know if this is real or not. Chances are it's not. It's probably just costume jewelry, but too bad. No other one. Oh, these are interesting earrings. These are green because they're actually copper, like copper teapots, and they have oxidized. That's really cool. Whoever thought of making like a little teapot or pitcher earrings out of copper, very cool. Oh, here's one of those. Oh, here's another one of those um, heart, those sun buttons, you know, so pretty. Okay, what is this? There's no opening to this. <laughs> You guys, this is strange. What is that sign? No idea. I mean, how would I even use it if I can't even put it around anything? It's strange. It's, it's very hefty, like stainless steel. That was strange. Not sure what that is. If you know, let me know. Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Looks like it was part of a necklace that's broken. They just kind of threw it in the jar. It's, it could be used for hypnosis. <laughs> you know, it could also be used as a, look at my creativity going crazy. Um, it could also be used as a fan pole. Well, that's cool, right? <laughs> crafts um look at these earrings these are wow these are really pretty this one has a post and this one's missing one but who cares oh i think this might be missing a stone i'm not sure but that's pretty very nice let's see if you could see it a little better this way wow nice Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is classy, guys. Look at this necklace. This is totally vintage. It's a mesh rose. Beautiful detail. I can't wait to get my ring lights. I'm going to put so much light on this. So you guys can really see the jewelry. This is beautiful. And here is the clasp. It's kind of open, but it's okay. It's heavy enough that I don't think that, you know, it will come off. But okay, oh my gosh, you know, this is so reminding me of like those clapper days. You know, that would be a great piece for costume. I wonder who makes it. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, just got a couple more here, I think. Just a couple more. Oh, this is too bad. Because this is a beautiful earring. And I can't, I don't have the other one. Almost reminds me of Brighton. Does it have a name on it? No, but look at that. Even the clasp is a little heart. See? Let's see if you see it. Bad. I don't have the other one like the filigree okay last one guys what in the world is this this is a necklace no this would fall into belts accessories let's see yeah this is a belt maybe a size small huge large um, lobster claw really intact 
beautiful gold on silver look very very pretty makes a lot of dangly noises love that okay I would little ball at the end metal ball I would probably take pliers and make this a little tighter right here okay guys please let me know what you thought about this video if you have any input I am still um you know I'm halfway there I'm not super experienced as a jewelry reseller you know because I don't price things high I don't price things too low either where I don't profit because I don't you know I just don't have the time to look up what each one of these items are this is still my favorite one by the way so I don't know I bought some gem tester things that are supposed to come soon so we'll see I don't want to get too into it because I'm still running my Jolly Flips vintage shop and I still love thrifting. I know, I really hope you guys like my videos and please like and subscribe to this channel so that you can get alerted for any new videos such as these, thrifting, gluten-free, adventures, etc. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.